Yo, what is going on you guys? Orion Tech Tips here, back at it with another video. In this Losing video, we will be testing Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on an RX 580 gig and a uh, Ryzen 7 1700X. I'll take that. Taking Bravo. Yeah. Uh, so, the, yeah, as you can see, the GPU... Ah, oh, dead. Percentage is not showing because that is an unfortunate glitch i don't exactly know the right reason why it is not showing but i can assure you guys it is running at exactly 100 percent so the gpu is fully utilized the uh we are getting over 100 frames per second at time so like right now i'm not really doing much as I'm steering into the sky, I even get more, but most people don't do that. So as I'm capturing this zone, I'm getting high 90s, mid 100s, or low 100s. Oh, I should capture that. Location secure. No, we stop. Okay, so as we can see, we are using about half. So since we have four, I'm, I'm sorry, eight cores, 16 threads, we're using the eight cores, but not the threads. The CPU, I think, is clocked at like four, four point six. Well, actually, no, I got it to 4.8, I believe. And that is, ahead. if you have like a CPU, I'm sorry, 3.8, yeah. not 4.8. Uh, if you have a CPU that's like 4.5, even like 5 gigahertz, like a 99, like a, it will definitely use like a i9-900K, but if you want a 9900K, I'd recommend you just like rebuild. You, you don't use the 580. I am using 32 gigabytes of RAM, as you can see, we are using, actually not even close to where I want it. If you just want to play this game, you can get away with 16 gigabits of RAM. However, if you want to say record gameplay, edit gameplay, live stream, do like Twitch on the same computer, then yeah, I'd recommend you have. Where'd the guy? Oh, oh shoot! I'm just like, where did he go? I'd recommend you have 32 gigs of RAM because that wouldn't be overkill, and it's pretty cheap. If you wanted to build this PC, it would cost you, Enemy using USD a. parts, it would cost, uh, UAV circling. as the time when I B. built this, I paid a little over 1300 for this PC, but now you could build it for probably under 1000 using USD, but for CAD it parts, it would be a lot Enemy more expensive. Bravo. And I like just got this game, so excuse the bad gameplay. Taking Bravo. Let's try to play. So, if you were wondering, like, what could I cut or like what could I add? Security. I'd recommend maybe cut like the RAM. I have a two terabyte hard drive and a two hundred fifty six SSD. So if you want that, then maybe go with that. If you want more SSD, like maybe just go with a 500 Bravo, SSD down. and like no hard drive. So you could save some money there. And then if you want to cut costs even more, Recon maybe. You don't need an 8 core, so like you could go with like a Ryzen 1600. That would be a bit cheaper, but for just me it wouldn't, it wouldn't really be worth it. Cut the RAM, I'd say, and then that that could get you. You could save quite a bit of money there. And if you want to, if you have a little bit of extra cash, I'd say maybe upgrade to some more SSD storage. And if you wanted, you could go with the RX 590. And that would get you a higher frame rate. So if you have like a 144, 
We're winning this. Hertz Wander, I wouldn't recommend a 240 Hertz Wander, because for that, if you can afford that, you can certainly afford more computer. I'd hope so. Oh. So speedy. You know what, I think... Enemy locked down. Enemy took Bravo. Losing A. Oh, I tried to heal. We lost Alpha. You're dead. Down. Okay, well, I got the assist. Yeah, oh, not doing all too well. I'm afraid. Probably the lowest level here. So, yeah, I think I will finish the game just so you guys can see the actual performance of, like, uh, since, like, you guys will be finishing the game. You can see, like, the full, perform the full performance you're getting if you do choose to build this PC. Obviously, a custom build is a custom build, so I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't expect you to choose the exact same parts that I chose for this PC. But, you know, if you wanted, like, if you, like, I'd say, like, the case, the power supply, those are all personal preferences that, like, won't really affect performance. The motherboard is, won't affect performance either, it will affect, like, the sound and stuff, but... Yeah, I won't get Bravo. too in depth into that. Enemy has B. Oh, tried to, I tried to, like, why can you not heal? Like, I'm someone shooting at me. I tried to kill him before. Security I, Bravo. I need to get better Bravo at secure. this game. Oh, this guy. Shortly after, of course. Taking A. All right, so we don't have too much time left in this game. So I do want to say one last thing. If you do choose to go for a, say if you are trying to cut costs and you go with the graphics card, maybe you buy like an RX 570. I wouldn't recommend a 10. I mean, sorry, a. RX uh, 560 or below because that you just compromise too much performance. But if you do that, I wouldn't recommend you actually buy a 1700X or even like a Ryzen 7 at all because you could get away with Ryzen 5. I wouldn't recommend a Ryzen 3 because 4 cores simply just isn't enough. Even for gaming, for editing, it's not even close to enough. Especially not at 4K, even at 1080p, it will struggle a ton. And I wouldn't recommend you edit like at 720p because it just, yeah, that would just be really bad. Losing B. All locations locked down. Dig in and hold so I'm living in the FPS, we've Enemy never dipped below 60. So obviously, Losing I am A. playing at ultra detail just for the sake of this Throw video. However, circling. I wouldn't really recommend you play Taking ultra Bravo. detail because high detail it doesn't really look worse. Hey, it looks similar the and Government you get so much more performance. So yeah, that's you can watch this and then see if it Okay, so we got 55. 
as you can see, the 1% low and the 0.1% low. But, you know, for me, it's completely smooth. I know I'm not that good at the game. But anyway, that was the multiplayer. I will do Blackout in Zombies soon. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Until next video, peace out.